Hi, Mr. Wells. I'm Jacob. Hello, Jacob. Can you tell me more about offshore oil exploration and production? Sure. This is the perfect spot. We are standing on the drill floor of the Ocean Star. Wow. This looks very interesting. What's the tower for? It's called a derrick. It has a pulley system for raising and lowering lengths of casing and drill pipe. Casings? Yes. Casing is steel pipe that forms the wall of the well bore to ensure the stability of the well we've drilled. What happens next? Next, a drill bit is attached to the drill pipe and the whole assembly rotates like a hand drill to cut the hole. I read about drill bits. They can cut through rock. That's right. Actually, they're specifically designed to just do that. As we rotate the drill pipe and the drill bit, it cuts up the rock, and we pump mud down the drill pipe to help bring the cuttings back to surface. Mud? You mean like water and dirt? Well, not exactly. This is a specialized drilling fluid we use to help cool the bit and bring the cuttings back to the surface. Do you always find oil when you drill? Unfortunately, not always. But through new technology, NASA satellite imaging, and seismic techniques, we've actually greatly increased our chances of finding oil. Once you find oil, how do you get it out of the ground? After removing the drill pipe and bit, production tubing is put into the well bore. Then a perforating gun is used to make holes through the cement and casing so the oil can flow into the well. We're looking for a source of oil pollution in the ocean. Are there offshore oil rigs on the east coast of the United States? Actually, there aren't any. Most of them are in the Gulf of Mexico. Did you know, on a worldwide basis, less than 3% of the oil pollution comes from offshore exploration and production operations? In fact, the ones that I've been involved in, it's little, if any. Wow, that's not very much. Where does most of the oil pollution come from? Actually, in North American waters, greater than 60% comes from natural seepage. You mean it just bubbles up from the floor of the ocean? That's right. Once the oil moves up through the earth to the ocean floor, it just rises to the surface. Because oil is less dense than water. Very good. And the Gulf of Mexico is one of the largest natural sources of oil seepage in North America. It sounds like we need to learn more about oil seepage. That's a good idea. A marine geologist can help you learn more about the geology and topography of the ocean floor. Thanks, Mr. Wells. You're welcome. While you're here, let me show you more of the drilling rigs. 